today we're talking to St Albans City manager Ian Anderson down in deepest Cornwall at Treyu Park where the Saints have gone down to a 2-1 National League South defeat after leading 1-0 and when it was 1-0 Ian led for that Sam Merson goal we were very much on top we looked like we were going to go on and win the game they got a possibly controversial penalty and after that the game changed yeah, I think the game the game changed, but I still felt we created two or three really good chances in that period at one all. Um, I think if we'd have been a bit more clinical in that final 15, 20 minutes, we'd have gone on and won the game. Unfortunately, we didn't, and we got paid for it in the last couple of minutes. Where the lad probably he was very clinical. He got half a chance and stuck it in the bottom corner. But as I say, we have to look back to the, to the decision in terms of bringing them back into the game. I thought it was very harsh. I haven't seen the highlights, but I spoke to the players. The players said it hasn't hit anyone's hand. I feel the referees guessed at it. Um, spoke to him after the game there, and he said the hand was clearly up high, and he hit his hand. But I can only I can only tell you that, David. Once I've seen the highlights, but from where I was, I didn't think it was handball. Yeah, there's the lots of bodies in there, and if it's a blatant handball, then then he's got to send the guy off for me. And uh, I think there's a lot of decisions in that little period there that weren't quite correct, and, and we've paid for it in the end. And also appeals for a handball at the other end, down by the goal line, which uh, wasn't given. Well, again, so I appealed straight away. Um, spoke to some of the supporters after the game, and they felt it was a handball. Again, until I see the highlights, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to have a look at all of that. But you know, the big, the, the big decisions haven't gone our way today, uh, and it's disappointing because I felt the minimum we deserved today would have been a draw. Um, it's a difficult place to come to, as you see. The pitch was 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 not very good at all. Um, cut up very quickly. Um, and it wasn't conducive to any type of football and I think you see both teams in the end were just lumping it from end to end so it was quite uh, an even game from that side of it and I felt in the end they probably just played the conditions a little bit better than us. I felt we started the first half quite well but didn't really threaten much. They got on top towards the end of the first half a little bit but nil nil half time seemed about right. We started that second half well. And had it not been for that penalty, I'm not sure it would only been one winner. Well, I felt when we went 1-0 up, I felt their confidence had gone a little bit. They'd obviously been on a bit of a poor run um, and, and putting us one up. And I felt we could go on and win the game and, and, and win it quite comfortably. And you know, they, they threw caution to the wind. They went and played three up front, left themselves a little bit exposed at the back. And we got in some really good time, uh, situations. But again, I don't think, you know, as I said, I don't think the, the pitch was conducive to any good football. And a couple of times we got in some really good areas and the final cross or the final pass wasn't good enough today and I think from both teams I think they were both um, I spoke to, to Lee Robinson coming at half time about you know how the hell do you want to play back here on, on, on the pitch here and, and he was saying that you know they, they would have preferred to have stayed at Torquay and played because obviously the pitch is decent there but as I say it's the same for both teams it's difficult because as I say it doesn't allow you to pass the ball and I think there's probably been numerous occasions today where people have missed kicked it sliced it into the stands and missed good opportunities but as I say, we haven't, for me, we, did, we, we didn't defend the second goal well enough. We had an opportunity to clear the ball on two or three occasions. We didn't do that. Um, their lads stuck it away very well, but I felt you know, the two opportunities we had just before they scored that we, we should have gone on and got a second goal and put the game to bed in that period. You made a couple of changes from Saturday. <coughs> not enforced, I guess. Um, well, not really, because as I said, with David De Hage, you've been playing at fullback. He's done a great job for us, but I felt with Josh coming back in there, um, and Michael going back to, to revert to right back was going to be right for us today and I felt it worked quite well defensively. We looked quite strong for long periods today um, and put Clovis back in midfield but we knew what the pitch was going to be like. We'd had the report and, and the report from the Western game four weeks ago was that it isn't conducive to football. You're going to have to go and turn the opposition and put balls in good areas and I felt with Clovis in there we could play the extra forward in terms of, of playing Sam and, and David together with, with Zane and, uh, and Ben on the wings. Um, and Clovis could just sit and protect with Percy, and I felt they did a really good job on it. It's just a shame, you know, Percy's got booked, and then he lost his he lost his head a little bit with a penalty, and I had to sub him because I just couldn't risk him being sent off. You did have your talking about getting the ball in the box. You had a number of set pieces there. Do you think you sort of used them well enough? We just spoke about that just now. We felt that um, some of the some of the quality on some of the balls, some of the passes coming in were were probably not good enough. But you've got to give them a little bit of credit in terms of the way they defended. Um, we had the one there where Sam, it was pulled back to Sam and it hit the guy on the arm just by the near post area. The fella went down and made that, it was a bit of a, it went into his stomach but you can clearly see his arm from that side of it. 
Um, but as I said before, you know, you have to take these decisions, you know, the rough with the smooth, and uh, unfortunately it didn't go our way today. And you definitely had chances that one right at the very end. <laughs> yeah, we just spoke to Cal now. I mean, you know, he's got to be totally ruthless there. Whether he was waiting for David Moyo to come in and kick the ball or strike it on goal. I mean, he's got in, he's done great, he's gone past two people. Just rifle the ball in the bottom corner, finish it off. Their lad did exactly the same. So we have to be a little bit more... Um, um, selfish in them areas, and any forward, uh, centre forward that's got an opportunity to score a goal has to be selfish, and, and we wasn't selfish enough in front of goal today. The result is a blow because we could have gone into the playoff positions today, but maybe some of our recent results we've had the rubber the green. Yeah, you have had the rubber the green, but you need to have the rubber the green in, in, in most games, and unfortunately, we haven't had that today at 1 0. As I said to you there, I felt we could go on and win the game. We've been, un been undone by a poor decision, in my opinion, um, and as I say, once I've seen the highlights. Um, I can I can decide it even more, um, but they're the things that happen in football. So, you know, some of the some of the decisions have gone our way, and unfortunately, they didn't go our way today. So attention now turns to next Saturday. We go to the other side of Southern England, across to Kent, to play Dartford, who are uh, well up with us, challenging for a playoff position. Yeah, it'll be a tough game. Um, hopefully, the pitch will be a little bit better than it's been today. Um, but it'll be a tough, tough team. You know, they're up there for a reason. Um, but we have to just obviously hope, you know, we get the rub of the green. We have to make sure that when we get our opportunities, we take our opportunities. And if we do that, we'll be fine. If not, you know, we're going to be like we are again today, feeling a little bit sorry for ourselves and uh, feeling a little bit disappointed for such a long day to, to, to come away from here with nothing. Uh, ben Hurd and David Noble, any chance for them Saturday? Do you think Hopefully then? David Noble might be. I should think Ben Hurd maybe no. Um, we'll have to see that more on Thursday at training, but at the moment we'll have to just see what we, where we are, what we've got. Um, we're still carrying a couple of little niggles today. Lewis Knight is um, carrying a little bit of a dead leg there and um, just see where he is. Tom Bender's still feeling a little bit sore on his ankle from, from the challenge that happened on Saturday. So we've just got to just patch them up now and see where we are once we come in on Thursday. Got a frustrating journey back now. Yeah, it won't take too long. We should be on by about five o'clock. So, and then, and then, as I say, work from nine o'clock onwards. So, it's a, it's a good commitment, as I say, from the players to come all the way and not get the, the rub of the green today is disappointing because it is a long day. It's, it's probably 15 hours out of their life in terms of coming to play football. You know, a couple of the boys didn't even get on today, so it is a big decision to, to, to come all the way. I've got to thank the players for that because it's a fantastic achievement in getting here. And it's just a shame we didn't pick something up because a draw today would have been a nice result at a minimum, would have been a draw. Of course, we had the absolute farce of not knowing really until Friday morning where this game was going to be played. So congratulations also to the handful of supporters that made it. Fantastic. As I said before, you know, you have to take your hat off them because it isn't, it isn't cheap getting down here. And, and I think we probably had about 15 or 20 again today. Um, and they were a bit... Um, it's a shame afterwards because I think they were a little bit frustrated with, with some things they've seen tonight. And uh, it's just a shame we didn't get something for them and got them into the playoffs because that would have been great to be sitting in the playoffs tonight, taking it forward to Saturday. Lovely, thanks very much, Ian. And uh, we go again on Saturday. No As we say on Saturday, we're down in Kent at Prince's Park, away to Dartford, National League South. Kickoff is at 3 pm.